Patty DeFelicis from Worthy Nutrition, and I'm just checking in, and I'm calling today Favorite Food Friday. So every Friday, I'm going to come up with a favorite food of mine or yours if you'd like to weigh in. Just put it down in the, in the post it down if you want to uh, give us your favorite food, and I will do a feature on it in the future. But today's food is the avocado. It's one of my all-time favorite foods, and I've researched it before, but I did some more researching. Hi, Bob! How you doing? Boy, long time no talk to. Um, and I did more researching on the avocado, and heck, 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 there is so much. Like, okay, I didn't even have room on my board for all the notes. So, uh, because and I just couldn't memorize it all. There's just no way. So anyway, let's get started on the avocado. Hi, Freddie. How you doing? Okay, it's a fruit. Who knew? Probably a lot of people. It does have a big old seed in it. So it's a fruit, and it was. It is called the alligator pear. I don't know who calls it that because I don't. I've never heard anybody around me, but I'm just here in California. So if you guys call it the alligator pear, you just let me know. Maybe it's kind of a regional thing. Who knows? Um, it's rich in monounsaturated fat, and that's what makes the avocado so good to eat because it has good fats in it. Very, very low saturated fat, okay? It's also very low in sugar, which I think you can kind of figure that out. When you taste an avocado, you don't say, oh, this tastes so sweet, you know, like an orange or something like that or an apple. So fiber is 79% fiber. That's four and a half grams of fiber. And that is fabulous. We'll be talking a little bit more about fiber in just a second. Okay, it feeds your friendly bacteria in your gut. That is a very good thing because we want to make sure that friendly bacteria is surviving. There are so many things that will just really mess up your, your friendly bacteria, like stress, the air we breathe, the things we eat, some of the things we have around the house. So we want to make sure that we keep that friendly bacteria going, okay? And that's what avocado does. Yay! Oleic acid reduces inflammation. I don't think I need to say anything more unless you want to just, I want to suggest that you, when you're eating an avocado, you can just say, I'm taking my anti-inflammatory and it's not a drug. You can announce that if you'd like. Um, antioxidant, okay, carotenoids, there are, there's lutein for eye health for, and, and it prevents cataracts and um, macular degeneration, things like that. It really helps with eye health. Um, there are also other antioxidants that are very anti-cancer. It helps with blood sugar control, which is amazing. Those of you who are diabetic or pre-diabetic, go for it with the avocado. You will not regret it. Neither will your body. Your body will thank you. So the type of sugar that's in it assists in keeping that blood sugar nice and stable. It's a good thing. Okay. And the fat in the avocado assists in being able to, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Absorb all of the carotenoids, the antioxidants, and vitamins that are in other foods and in the avocado. So it's a good thing. Vitamin K, folate. Folate is fabulous for you. Those are the, that folate is what's in green leafy vegetables. And when you see folate in its synthetic form, it's folic acid, and you'll see that mostly in vitamins. You wanna try and get a multivitamin that says methylfolate, not folic acid. Completely different. The folic acid is not very absorbable at all, and we want to be able to absorb that. Okay, there's no cholesterol in avocados. There's very, very low sodium, and like I said before, it's very low in saturated fat. Are you getting the drift here, how good avocados are for you? 
great for weight loss because it keeps you satiated longer because of the fats that are in it, the creamy fats. And, um, and it's, we all want that. We want to be, feel satiated and not want to feel hungry. Okay, so it decreases bad cholesterol and triglycerides. Whoa! How cool is that? And it increases the good cholesterol, the HDL. That's a very good thing. Antibacterial and antioxidants, they kill the bacteria in the mouth. They prevent oral cancers and they improve digestion. Yay, avocado. It's also very good for wound healing, believe it or not, and good for your skin. So all of those green masks that you see on these women in movies and commercials and things like that, they're not messing around. They know the truth. It's good stuff for you. And avocado oil is great for cooking because it says it has such a high heating point. It resists heat-induced oxidation. Oxidation is bad for you. It is cancer-causing. Okay, so there you have it. So I would say don't feel bad next time you eat the guacamole unless you have some really unhealthy chips with it. Maybe try some jicama sticks. And if you don't want know what jicama is, let me know and I will go ahead and talk about it maybe next week or the week after. Hey, Danielle, how's it going? Yay for avocado. Woohoo. All right. Hi, Roberta. How's it going, girl? Good to see you. Can't wait till you cut my hair. Look how long it is. <laughs> anyway, I uh, just wanted to weigh in on the lovely avocado. And if you have any great recipes or great ways that you like to eat avocado, please post them below because everyone who's going to be watching this is going to want to know. Okay? And we want to share it with everybody because it's our community. Okay? All right, guys, I'm taking off. You have a wonderful Friday. And if I don't talk to you soon, have a wonderful and happy new year. Bye-bye. Ciao.